Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the show. I hope you are doing excellent. Make sure to buckle up for this one. We are back in a fire truck. I don't know what kind, so maybe we can find that out. Maybe we won't. Maybe you guys will know uh, based on the dashboard or something. We'll have to see. Nonetheless, it's fun riding in these, uh, at least virtually, right? I would love to ride one someday. So let me lay it out here. We're looking at the Norwegian Fire Department responding to a car crash during rush hour traffic. Sounds absolutely crazy. Sounds scary. Sounds stressful. We have viewed uh, tons of emergency vehicle stuff, so make sure to browse that on my channel. But uh, more specifically, I think we've only done one or two fire department responses like this. Uh, we featured one in Germany, and it was uh, very brave and very well-driven uh, by the driver and uh, his co-fireman. And uh, thankfully, the other element here is traffic. Even if you got a well-equipped fire truck and a great driver, uh, you're at the mercy of traffic. And uh, I was very impressed at how they were able to kind of split and create a lane for uh, the fire truck to go swiftly and uh, potentially save someone's life. Alrighty, and this was uh, suggested uh, through email from Sky. So thank you so much for that. Uh, this is from a channel called Mr. Awesome. It will be linked in the description down below. Please check them out. That's go. Alrighty, already cutting across the first intersection. Oh, it's already crowded. Oh, this is going to be rough. Interesting siren cadence. Kind of like it, actually. I do. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, no. Perhaps this is an on-ramp onto a bigger road, maybe even a highway or interstate. Ooh, look at the line. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um... Skoda, I think, yeah? Two Teslas, that's cool. All right, uh, Nissan Leaf, lots of EVs. That is a beautiful bus over there. I think it's a bus. I still have to learn about buses, I can't wait. How is he gonna fit through here? This is looking claustrophobic already. Oh. Now to the credit of these people in traffic, they are right up on the guardrail. But this is still a big truck, <laughs> right? I mean, okay, props. First round of applause. They had the know or the wherewithal to go around because they saw that he could not fit uh, on that ramp, right? So they had to just uh, scurry along so he could end up passing once it opened up. And we are indeed going onto a highway. Oh my god, look at this mess. Oh my goodness. Woo! DHL, get out of the way. <laughs> Had to give him a honk. Okay, he's getting around, he's getting around. Oh my god, we have everything involved. We have trucks, we have cars, we have DHL. We have guys on motorcycles. Guys or gals, I'm not sure. Um, oh my god, we even have an old Cadillac convertible. What? <laughs> what? In, in Norway, okay, very cool. Looks like beautiful scenery. I think we saw some very green mountains out there. Wow, Norway, beautiful. Okay, look at this, oh my God. We have a junction here. We have cars coming on from the right. We have one or, two, yeah, we have two lanes uh, merging left. They're going to meet up here, and then, of course, we have a tunnel. Oh, my goodness. This is this is stressful. <laughs> These are fun because I'm in the comfort of my own home watching this, and, you know, I'm not the guy driving this going, uh, you know, in this big, expensive truck going to, you know, save people's lives. So I guess from that perspective, it's still not too bad. It's you know, entertaining, I guess, in a weird way, because you get to watch someone master this uh, driving in rush hour to go save someone. It, it's really like rewarding, but it's it's still stressful. And I, I can't imagine how stressful it is to be this fire crew. <laughs> it's not easy. 
Okay, so this was such a bad uh, traffic jam here. They had to send one of the firemen out to try and manually create some some room here. Okay, so they got this uh, RV out of the way. Oh my God, this is wild. Ooh, that's a tight fit. That is such a tight fit, because that's a big vehicle too. We have a trailer here. We have a uh, some sort of bus or something up there. Toyota Urban Cruiser. What in the hell is that? That's a weird name. How stressful is this? Oh, it's barely gonna fit. Interesting, these turquoise plates. They seem to be on cargo vehicles or maybe work vehicles. Just fit each, uh, behind the bus. Very nice. Now there's some opening. Cover some ground. Hear the siren in the tunnel. Ooh, that sounds cool. Very cool siren cadence. All blues. We can see in the reflection of the windows there. Okay, now you got now now you're in a home stretch here. This is an easy part. Definitely take advantage of that. Everyone did a great job clearing the left lane. Awesome. And uh, is is this more responders or is this? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if this was a um, if this was a crash site, but not yet. These are just other responders. I think. Now, what are these vehicles? Are they police? Are they um, some old? Yeah, they look like they're police vehicles. Very cool looking. I love the um, high reflection with the highlighter yellow and the red. What a beautiful area. Beautiful, beautiful area. Okay, so they have cleared this traffic jam. Thank goodness. I don't think they got a scratch on it. And that is it. Okay, so I'm going to presume that they got to their car crash and their scene uh, unscathed and hopefully in time. Obviously, uh, these could be fun, but that's the scary part is that you just hope that everyone was able to uh, get where they needed to go and that people uh, that were ultimately hurt were able to get safely transported uh, to the hospitals and wherever and uh, hopefully fully recover. So that was excellent. This was a great one. This was a great one. It's been a while and I really, really dig these. Thank you so much for that suggestion. Please keep them coming. I am so down for these. They're freaky. They're freaky. There's a couple moments where you're like, oh my God, put yourself in the driver's seat. How stressful would this be? I mean, no pressure, right? Who are we kidding? Tons of pressure. You have to be able to navigate this uh, this huge fire truck and your crew through some crazy, tense, tight situations. I always say this, and I can't say it enough. Uh, you know, thank you around the world to EMS, you know, crews, fire crews, uh, for being brave and having the courage and skill to navigate these crazy vehicles through crazy situations and uh, be able to, you know, do everything. Put fires out, clean scenes up transport people to the hospital, uh, you know, save lives, right? It really is a crazy job and it's super necessary. Thank goodness there are people uh, that are able to take up a job like this. Round of applause for this Norwegian fire department. I think this was very smooth. I think that traffic ultimately did a very good job. Maybe a couple hiccups, the DHL truck, which he might not have had room. I didn't really look that hard uh, at the front of where he was, but um, you know, like uh, just a couple obstacles like that. And then the one part at that that meeting uh, between two different lanes uh, that the firefighter had to get out and manually kind of move a couple people. Other than that, it was very smooth. I think traffic for the most part did a really good job and uh, seemed pretty smart. Please throw a like on there if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community. Uh, I will see you down in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this and hopefully some more awesome suggestions as well. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, stay safe out there. And I'll catch you later.